big issue here, and I don't know if you're familiar with this or any other pertain, you know, officers pertaining to, you know, I don't, I don't know. I hear like what, like officer or constables are allowed to to purchase their own um, handcuffs or brand of handcuffs. I'm, you know, I'm not that familiar. AVS Media demo. Hi, uh, Robert. Huh? Is this Robert? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, good. I lost you there. It's Popo Bowden. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you booked, you turned yourself in, you were booked into a cell, you were... You know, I wasn't booked in. AVS I wasn't, I wasn't Media booked in. demo. ...taking a picture of. Oh, okay, what happened? Can you just run through, uh, you... That's you know, another thing that you guys through. did that was wrong, because the whole reason, and I'm level with you, was mm -hmm. would that I I really turned myself in, was to A. AVS Media demo. I have a RE code of 1 on my DD form 2. Fucking retard. There you go, it's a little light. You weren't paying attention, were you now? Okay, there's the cops. AVS Media I Demo. Plan on living there, right? That's the law, right? I, yeah. found, I found that out, oh. right? So he was supposed to oh, return okay. it. He was supposed to return it, but he said he mailed it back to Oklahoma, right? Oh, might be losing me again here. He said he said he was supposed to return it, but he mailed it back to Oklahoma. AVS you know, Media was, Demo. Like someone else has gotten my ID, and they've went to my banks and tried to would use my ID fraudulently, right? So I called yeah. TransUnion, and um. Put a put a uh, emergency AVS media demo. Uh, you know what I mean? A credit freeze, a credit freeze. You know, okay. you can do that on online or whatever. Yeah. I did a credit I freeze. I reported it to the um the Federal Trade Commission, and also to the IRS. You know what I mean? I'm I'm you know what I mean? AVS also, media so, demo. Um, Ex military also um reported it to the the, the Department of Homeland uh, Security and then the DOD, which is the Department of Defense. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. So so after after um after I AVS that, Media um, demo. I my, when I got my credit report back, I saw that there was other charges. So I was like, well, one way that I can make sure that I can prove that I'm this person is for me to, you know what I mean? I I did a did a search for my name. AVS Media demo from 2012, and that's what that case okay. was from 2012. And I was like, yo, yeah. I'll just go to the police station. They'll fingerprint me. It'll prove that I'm in Canada. You know what I mean? And then and then yeah. it would it would give my body a... AVS Media Demo. I can't. You know what I mean? It's okay. not like a guy. I'm just letting you know there was a little um, selfish intention in me turning myself in. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, yeah, for like the Army. Oh, I think it's great, great intention. AVS no, Media that, that Demo. The whole reason. So I get there. I, get I come in. I come in. He asked me. He goes, you got any weapons on you? I go, I go, um... Yeah, um, I just got this this knife, but I don't use it, and it's a nostalgic knife. And then he goes, "Well, can you give it to me?" AVS Media like, Demo. It's actually in my backpack because I don't carry it. Like, you know what I mean? So yep. I I had told him, I said, "Is it okay? Can I reach in my backpack?" Because you know where I'm from, you know, they're this is yeah. new to me. You know, they they kill black people in the streets. You know what I mean? That's AVS I'm Media person, Demo. I come to your police station and not saying oh. you're racist. I'm just saying I, you know, shit's happening. Okay. Oh well, yeah, no looks like our, one of our one of our only black officers dealt with you here. Looks at it. And he was not black. Like it's okay, but I understand. AVS well, he's media white, demo. So he's automatically oh. black, right? Because everyone who's not white is black, right? I feel oh, you though. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. No. Oh. Okay. You, sorry. Carry on. You know what? It, you know what? We all niggas in the back of the police car. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I don't. Uh, AVS saying, Media saying, Demo. No. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think I know what you mean. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just saying. Friend. We all, yeah, we all niggas in the back of the police car. I'm just saying. 
So anyway, yeah. um, not only that, but like let let um let the, let aliens come or some shit or like a zombie apocalypse. AVS like, media thing. demo. You stop being a black yeah. person, right? And then you stop being a white person, right? Then then we just be human then, right? Yeah. We'd be I human agree. then, right? So then look, that's what I'm saying. I'm coming at you like a human and I just want due process, man. I just want I don't want I don't want I don't want A V S media man. demo. You know what nope. I mean? I came I came to your well, cells looking yeah, for justice. I, need to, I just want to I want to confirm what what's wrong. Um, okay, so, so this is what happened with the whole situation. Look, I came I came in, surrendered the knife, and then he AVS me media out, demo. Took off my shoes cuz you're not allowed to have shoes there, right? Even right. though later they cut my shoelaces. I don't know why would you do that when I took off my shoes like personally they cut all my shoe and shoelaces, cut up my Jordans. But anyways, that's another thing. AVS media um, demo. Also too, um, and then um and then and then the sheriff and then he said the sheriff said that that's their policy. I was like, Well, in Kelowna you guys took you guys took my shit you guys took my shoes off before I got into the sales. So A V S no Media question. demo. And you know what no, I mean? You don't cut them then, do you? No. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna get to him ever. Not like I had him on when the sheriffs came. So, yeah. so what's the whole point of going back into my property and cutting my shit? But anyways, that's that's what this is. What AVS media sort of, demo. And then, and then anyways, I sat there in the cell. They they did they, they I, I I screamed for a phone call all night for to to be able to call the United States Consulate General, which is part of the Vienna Co uh, Convention and the Geneva Convention, which is AVS media like, demo kind of spit on international treaty right there by not allowing me to call the, the U.S. Consulate General because, I mean, you would w you would want us to allow you to call the, the Canadian Consulate if you were arrested in Los Angeles, right? Oh, are you AVS media oh, demo? Okay, you're not of dual citizenship. I'm American. Oh, okay. All right, I'm American. I, I I came into you with a with a U.S. passport from the Department of Homeland Security, and yep. and and yep. a and a AVS media number, demo a SIN number, but a Social yeah. Security number. All my Ooh. ID was American. Okay, are right. were you here on a work visa? Visitor? I can visit. I have a passport from the United from the greatest country okay, on earth. You're visiting. <laughs> AVS no media demo. I'm ex-military. If I want to go to Tahiti, I could go to Tahiti. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's it. My passport say America on it. You know what I mean? They're not stopping me from okay. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. No. Not a problem there. Uh, so. AVS media you demo. Cell. Your stuff was taken from you. Put in a cell. Then. Right. Right. Then. Uh, then I, I spent the whole night there. They transferred me to to um, OCA. OCAA, where um this lady on um, there AVS I'm media demo I haven't even got got it yet this lady okay, that's the sheriff they took you to another jail uh huh they took me to another jail but I came back to, to Kelowna for court the there because I correctional facility yeah but I came back to Kelowna because you guys have my bail hearing AVS here, media and demo and I'm in the transcripts asking for the Canadian consulate to be um. I'm at the United States consulate to be um, notified, and you guys proceeded okay. with yeah, the bail know, hearing. You came back from the jail mm -hmm. to AVS media to demo to the courthouse. To the courthouse. Okay, and then what? And then I was the bail uh, hearing there. Yeah, and I asked to speak okay. to the consulate when I was denied again. That was like day three, and yep. um, I'm in the records of of asking for it. Then you guys AVS media had a demo court proceeding. Without yeah, even, well, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, hey, but you got to put yourself in my shoes, the ones y'all cut up. You know what I mean? I you. you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, yeah, we, we're not the court, though. That's uh, uh, AVS I'm media just, demo. You know, just the ones that one. probably just yeah. messed up my knife and destroyed my computer. These guys are trying to mess with my freedom. So I guess there's a little bit more of a severity with them. You know what I mean? Okay, keep going. So you go to court, you have a hearing, and then what? AVS media demo. And uh, they deny me the, the right to speak to the U United States Consulate General. Yeah. Which is a violation of the Geneva Convention and the Vienna Convention for a treaty country such as America. Um, then after that, they um, AVS media bail, demo. Said that I was a flight risk, and because I was American which is oh, discrimination. Great. You you know what I mean? Because you guys are in possession yep. of my passport. And, like, I, you know, how how could I leave anywhere without my passport anyway? If you guys wanted me to stay. AVS I'd media demo. Go anywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, anyways, 
I was denied. And so they sent me back to jail. I still didn't get a phone call. And then they transferred me to North Fraser. Okay. And then, no, actually, I had to go back twice. AVS Media Demo. When I first went there, I, I had two bail hearings because the judge didn't know anything about the Geneva Convention because I guess they, you know, the, I don't know, the attorneys or Crown or whoever you guys call, like, the people that handle your litigation. AVS Media Demo. About, like, law to, like, to be lawyers. So they had to, like, put it over to the next day so that they could do okay. research about the Geneva Convention and stuff. And then after they found out that I was right, they transferred me to Fraser. The North Fraser attorney, yeah. like y'all. AVS Media right? Demo. Right. So I get to Fraser, and then um, um, I'm there, and then and sales, and then and then they they um, did that judge though ordered me to be in Victoria for uh, AVS um, Media Demo. There in person to stand for my crimes, and uh, they yeah. when I got to Fraser, they didn't transfer me over to Victoria, so I had to do video court which like violated the, the judge's order for me to be there in person because they gave me the uh, AVS media demo. So th that is okay. another thing, but luckily there's, for, I don't have to prove anything with the courts because there's transcripts and there's a, a, a stenographer, right? Yes. I, I believe that's the word for it, right? A stenographer yeah. or whatever. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm AVS media you know I mean? demo. They never let us niggas read books, you know what I mean? Huh. I just, uh, no, I'm just saying no, but I, I figured you like that joke, right? Yeah, it's yeah. okay though. It's all right though. No, I know how to take it, man. I'm from, yo, I was born in the South in the country, so, you know. AVS I mean? Media I, I Demo. I like to be the only black person around, around a whole bunch of white people with power and have them look at you funny because you're college educated and, and you know, you're articulate, so they, they take advantage of you and damage your things because they, yeah. they feel inferior. AVS like Media Demo. Dicks and small brains and shit, so they want to destroy your computers and destroy your property and, 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 and spit on you and, and not allow you to have phone calls and shit and then call you nigger while you in the cage and shit, draw pictures of penises on your wall and shit. AVS you know Media saying? Demo. They do, do, they do the shit like that inside of your cell. Go inside cell 11 and look on that wall. That wall is okay. that. No, I'm just saying. Though. Yeah, I bet you it's still there. Okay. Going, okay. So no, I'm just saying. You know what's inside cell 11. Man. You work there, though. You work there, though. You work you there, get, though. AVS Media <laughs> Demo. Yeah, I got it. I got it back last it night, back. Okay. and it's just and it's, the blade is fully mangled and destroyed, but the rest of the knife looks looks mint. Right. And Mint condition. Okay. Did you raise that? With AVS you? Media no, Demo. I didn't even pull it out the bag. I didn't even pull it out okay, the bag. Okay, you didn't notice at home. No, but I don't even have know how to All even right. use the knife like that. It's just a nostalgic okay. piece of souvenir. So, uh, how does the knife get that badly damaged? I, I'm trying to pick. That's what I'm saying, and it's mint. And AVS Media it. Demo. Oh, yeah. Driven over. Uh, okay. I don't yeah, know. I, that, that's something maybe you would know. Shit, I don't know. That's a that's a good uh, hypothesis or a, a theory. I don't, you know, I see you're speculating, but, I, I, you know, I don't know. I AVS there, Media so Demo. Not like I, you know, could have could have known what people was doing with my property. I mean, I figured it was going to be locked up in a bag in a locker or something, you know, itemized and shit. Like, I, I figured that, that that's what you did with, you know, people's property when they were in jail. I didn't know. AVS like, Media you know, Demo. People, you know, destroyed your items and, you know, unscrewed, like, the back of your laptop and didn't even have the the wherewithal to put the screws back in. They were like, you know what I mean? This motherfucker missing all the screws. And it's a MacBook, you know what I mean? You know, civilians don't. AVS Media like, Demo. Yeah. That's not what, you know, we do. Plus, you know, everything's soldered inside of MacBooks, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know. Yeah, I have one. Okay, so you know how, how awkward that is for, like, you know what I mean? Come on, man, come on. Yeah. AVS Media so. Demo. Man, and that's bizarre, oh. right? That's bizarre, yeah. right? Yeah, I, uh, so you showed up here with... And the, you know about the trail law, right? Yeah. You know about the trail law, um, which I call it the trail law, because, you know, the guy that, that you know, murdered the girls. AVS you know, Media phone, Demo. You know what I mean? They wanted to get into the cell phone, but since they had a passcode and they didn't have a warrant that it... Uh, violated the Charter 8. Like, you know about that, Oh, right? yeah. Apple uh, wouldn't I, give up their code, you mean? Well, that's a different... That was a different case. That was AVS a Media point. Demo. Anyways, when I don't want to get into Perry Mason mode right now. You know what I'm saying? What I want to... When no. I would just... 
what I want to tell you is that uh, that that the trail law basically says that any type of electronic device that has um, a password that doesn't AVS media demo unlocked, such as a fingerprint, um, or um, you know DNA or some type of uh, distinguishable character features that is unique to a body, you know, biometrics, right? If it doesn't have a biometric release, AVS media a demo password release, well, then you need um a, a warrant, right? Yeah. Okay. I know what you mean. Well, there was no warrant, so that violated the charter. Uh, charter eight, and that's criminal. So, hopefully, I. But I doubt. You know what I mean? I doubt you guys are gonna probably arrest. AVS me. media demo. You know, you guys got. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the I see they've asked for the video to be burnt to DVD from the cell. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's. Good. But if you were gonna uh, really do a thorough investigation. I, I you you might AVS not media to demo. You're gonna have to pull the tapes from all those facilities. Because I mean, otherwise, well, uh, uh, that would why? Be... Because because that would be investigative police work, right? And you can't do, you can't investigate nothing, right? Like, no, who no. wants to investigate? AVS media demo. Well, you have to, you have to go through them if it comes to that. If there's something, but but if there was a crime that took place, here? wouldn't you? Shouldn't you try to figure out? Like, isn't no, that your are... onus and your your um you, what you call your jurisdiction as a to protect and serve? AVS media I mean, demo. When I was oh, in the military, yeah. when I was in the military, we can walk on that stuff in their facilities. So they be, they do automatically, and if they can't if they can't handle it, then they may call the police to assist. But they have jurisdiction to AVS media demo. Facilities. And you try uh, and you and God forbid you guys do anything to anything like like to you know what i mean i don't know i figured that maybe protecting and serving that you know you guys put that on your police cars and stuff or, or maybe we just do that in America. avs media uh, demo you guys don't protect uh, and serve not here. fair uh, not fair presumption they, they have jurisdiction to investigate within their own walls and they're accountable for that too just as we are inside ours uh but okay we, so so we, basically everyone's covering their own ass then avs media uh, demo mean, you're just trying to make sure that that, that that no, you guys aren't at blame. We investigate our own because we have authority and jurisdiction there. Same with them. And they're accountable okay. for it. Okay, I just figured crime but, was crime and like police officers are supposed to... AVS fight, fight media crime. demo. I just, I don't know. We do. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know. I was I may be naive or something. Like maybe that's just some gung ho shit they teach state, Americans. Yeah, maybe in the States the police patrol inside jails and inside courthouses mm -hmm. looking for I, crime. But, well, but I mean, you, it's not AVS like, media it's demo. Just, it's just if there's if there's foul play somewhere, like I mean, you have that authority, or you're appointed, you're a, uh, you have a you're a person in, in a in a um a, uh, a with a job with a, a standing um um position in society. AVS media make, demo. To make the world a better place than when you entered it. Well, it's not without limits, though. We. What do you mean? That, that 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 that's that's that's, that's, that's uh, we call that selfless service. You know what I mean? Duty, responsibility, loyalty. These are the Army Corps. AVS Media people. Demo. You know what I mean? Loyalty, and duty, respect. Yeah, and honor, personal courage. And then the, the biggest one is integrity. That's when you do the yeah. right thing when no one's watching. So we're, we're right now we're, we're seeing your fellow officers' integrity right here. AVS you know, Media Demo. Being no, careful about finger pointing. Uh, I, I, whoa, 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 okay, who is it? Me? I was in the cell. Yeah, but I'm trying it wasn't to me. Have, and who had my property? Who had my property, though? AVS Media Public Demo. Right. The, the, the sheriff? And, and well, the well, who took my property first? Who bagged it? Well, it sounds like the police took it at the front end. And where where did he where get my knife? I think from you. No, I'm just saying it wasn't in AVS my property. AVS Media Why Demo. Wasn't that in my property? When? It, isn't that my property? I don't know. Whenever you guys took my property, because it didn't come back with my property. He gave it to me last night. Right. Okay. I don't know. That's where we have to investigate what happened. Yeah, AVS Media Demo. We See, we're on the same page. We're on the No, Mason, you don't say shit. Fuck. God. No, it doesn't it has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do with you guys. Okay. Hello. AVS right. anyway, Media Demo. Now we were good. Um, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to here, curse. I didn't mean we'll to. I didn't mean to curse. I was talking to someone else here, and I didn't mean to disrespect oh, you. And I apologize okay. wholeheartedly. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, no. Uh, AVS well, Media well, Demo. When you came in here, for sure, that's our job. Okay. And uh, and we'll see that through. And then then you have some certainty. Then you'll know, okay, everything was kosher to that point or it wasn't, and we're dealing with it. And AVS okay, Media more, Demo. Yeah, if we yeah. can confirm for you that everything was cool while you're at the police station, then it narrows down your hunt for justice. And you, we can say, okay, from here, here's exactly who you went with. Okay. Here's, we can provide you with their supervisor. AVS Media you know, Demo. You know that, 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 that hunt for justice, that's a very lonely hunt. You know, I was, I was been, I'm been from last week. I've been looking for justice. You know what I found? Yeah. Just us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That's, that's what that's what uh, I found. Just us. But AVS okay. Media Demo. That's the government, the people vote for. That's their system, and we're just a cog in it. Uh, I wish we had more authority some days, but you anyway. do have the authority. You have a badge. Yeah. You have a, you uh, have a, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like you have a bad. AVS media demo. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so do the right thing when no one's watching, man. I got kids. You got kids probably. You know what I mean? I know good people that are our age have kids. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And in the end, it's like, it's like, yo, man, you. AVS media demo. If like London is being, or my son Skyler is being, terrorized by the police and they don't understand what's going on you know what i mean and i have to explain to them like oh well you know what scholar you know you're black avs media demo this happens to black people you know what i mean i don't want to have that conversation with my kids i don't want i don't want i don't want you to have a conversation with your kid saying like oh well the black kids at school don't like me because they they say you're a cop you know what I mean? avs media demo by, by cops and 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 now they hate me for it. You know what I mean? That's not fair for your kid to go to school and then and then have to be terrorized by people who who you know what I mean? Like, aren't you sick of that shit? Okay, Roderick, here's what's gonna happen. AVS Media uh, Demo. Are in the middle of our block of four shifts, uh, two days down, two nights to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of us will give you a shout here, um, Friday, Friday night at the latest. So it's some sort of update. AVS I Media I Demo. I operate at night and stuff. Well, I got to meet you guys in the middle of the night. Like, who does this? Like, are you guys well, you like ninjas or some shit? You guys like, like we'll Illuminati or some shit? Like, like can I <laughs> join? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, you guys meet up at night? Those those two cops. AVS Media like, Demo. They had hoodies on and stuff. They had no markings of cops. I was like, what the hell? They had, they're all black. They look like, they look like ninjas. I was like, man, what the, like what is that? Okay, well, we, don't, we, don't, we can phone you. Obviously, we know how to reach you by phone. Yeah, yeah, AVS know. Media oh, demo. And then, and then also, I have a lawyer That's now fun. who's investigating too. Oh, and then also too, the um, and and this is what I noticed too, off of my phone, off of my computer, and this is really this is unprovable, but but I'm just letting you know that I know. AVS uh, Media um, demo. You know what I mean? I have um, there's no way I can prove that this happened. But but this did happen, and it's sort of like you got to take my word for it. And um, I have um, you seen the video? No, as a video. AVS Media demo. There's any wrong doing? No, I have I have the video. I have video of, but luckily I I saved it in the Google Drive and space and and everywhere. I gave it to so many different people of the Toronto police um assaulting um a person avs media computer. demo you know what i mean and the disclosure a disclosure was deleted and the the video evidence was deleted and whoever went through my computer they went they tried to get into my virtual machine you know right you know what a virtual machine is do you know anything about computers avs media know. demo okay a virtual machine virtual machine yeah, virtual machine is okay. I'll give you a quick run through. Virtual machine is basically um, a computer running inside a computer, basically where the computer is strong enough to mem to mimic hardware, and and oh. then it run it runs. AVS Media Demo. You just stand alone. I use Never my really. MacBook. Okay. Well, for me, it helps my MacBook run Windows software. Okay. Oh. And then basically, I use this just for music. Like when they went through my computer, they had to be like completely like depressed because all it was on there was Pro Tools, AVS Media Pro Tools, Demo. And, and shit like that, like like um Logic, Final Cut, 
You know what I mean? Like, all I do, I rap. I make rap music for a living. So, like, that's all I do. I don't have no cyber crime or all I talk to raggedy bitches every once in a while on Facebook. AVS Media but Demo. Other than that, like, you know, all I do is that, you know what I mean? I make music and stuff now that I'm out the army. So, anyways, they, they went and they accessed my, my virtual machine. My virtual machine has logins on the 11th and the 12th. AVS Media Demo. Right. Okay. Uh... I won't comment on it because I don't know anything about that. I've never even heard of That's that. That's provable yeah. evidence because it has the okay. modified um, date inside of the um, OSX. Okay, so I'm just going to interrupt. Uh, okay. I have someone else AVS to Media uh, Demo. I will commit to myself or one of us giving you a shout back by Friday night uh, when we're on uh, on night shift. And uh, how late can we call you? And, I mean, anytime, you, any, we'll, we'll, is there any like, AVS you know, Media like, Demo. Do I have any like, any like rules? I mean, as far as like, like, you know, like the blue wall of silence or something like to where you don't call people at a certain time or maybe I don't want to interrupt yeah, none of your meetings. When do you yeah, guys have like your meetings or whatever? It's like 10 o'clock. Y'all have your meetings? Okay. AVS Media so Demo. At 11 or before that. You know what I mean, but y'all can have y'all 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 meetings or whatever oh, that y'all y'all secret meetings. All right, so we'll just wait for that, and we'll follow up. Uh, we'll look into this video. We'll see what we need. Please, to man, please show some. Please show some integrity. Please. Show AVS some integrity. Media well, Demo. You know what I mean, and okay. not for you, for the flag, man, for the flag. You know what I mean. Okay. That's why I picked up that, that. That's why I picked up that yeah. rifle, is to protect the freedom. You know what I mean. Okay. Integrity. Okay. Integrity. Integrity. Okay. Uh, AVS Media yeah, Demo. Lots of that in Canada. Don't worry. Uh, so, thanks very much, Roderick. I'll, I'll would you believe you, that uh, if you were me? Uh, yeah, I would. The fire visiting here, I'd say, holy smokes, you guys are integral. And then I turn, I turn, I turn myself in. AVS Media Demo. And stuff, and and you guys aren't really yeah. like fully investigating and stuff. Like, how would you feel if that was you? Yeah, I'd, I'd want answers. Can you? Are you the guy that's going to get me some answers? Hopefully, I can answer for what went oh. on in this building. AVS well, Media I mean, Demo. I mean, I mean, somebody had to do it. I was in this. Uh, who else could have done it? You were. You sounds like you took a tour of the province. So uh, we'll start here. Okay. So let, leave it with me and someone else here. I uh, I'll give you a call back or. But if they took me to the up. province, how did he? AVS get Media it? Demo. I don't know. <laughs> Let's start with what I can dig up here. I don't know. That is a big. I don't know though. Do you do you does do you, does that not seem fishy to you though? No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. So, they, so you do know the reason why? Because the only way it wouldn't. AVS Media it Demo. Why. So, well, what is the reason made. why he would have had it? That sounds kind of made up. Um, no, I'm me, just, I, I, that's I, made I, up. He gave me the knife last night. You can look at the records. No, no, you're you're suggesting stuff. But let me just look at the video. AVS Media Demo. Oh, uh, all right. Well, yeah. It's it's no. It was yesterday night. It was yesterday night, or it might have been the day before yesterday. <laughs> It was two days ago? Okay, two days ago, yeah, he gave it to me or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I had. AVS oh, Media okay. Demo. Oh, man. And, you know, you can I at least get an answer on how he had it? Who did he get it from? I don't know. I'll see what I can find out. You don't know? I thought you had it You had it to report. Because I figured if it's a different agency, maybe I can call that agency. AVS Media problems. Demo. I be giving you any problems. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Uh, so can you can can you tell me? Can you tell me the truth? Can can I get the truth? Or is maybe I can't I can't have the truth. I can't handle the truth. You gonna hit me with the Jack Nicholson? AVS Media Demo. No. Uh, we'll hit. We'll, I'll hit you with the truth. Uh, guaranteed. Well, look at the all video. right, man. I'd rather they get hit with the truth than a yeah. nightstick or a billy club. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'll worry about that. Mm. Okay. That AVS Media okay. Demo. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hi, can I speak to Mason Mansfield, please? Yes, speaking. Hi, Mr. Mansfield. The Sergeant David Nathan is calling with the Calgary Police Service Professional Standards Section. How are you today? I, I'm I'm pretty all right there. Thank you very much. Um, I, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to actually call or not. I know I called there. I think um, Thursday or of last yeah. week. Yeah, but, yeah that's uh, fine. Now I'm I'm glad you called. Anyways. Yeah, I left you a voicemail the next day. Oh, did you? Oh, see, yeah. I just, I've been kind of like, I've been having, experiencing uh, technical difficulties with my, my vehicle that are returning here to Kelowna, and uh, it's been kind of a,
kind of a interesting long trip that I thought was only going to take less than 24 hours wound up taking about four days. So yeah. anyways, there was there, I guess there was really no rush for you to get, uh, to call me, but, um, or neither did I need you cause I wouldn't have had time except for yesterday. And I just want to get this out of the way. Sure. Yeah. What can I help you with? Um, well, listen, this is, um, this is in, in in regards to a situation where I was, you know, I was charged with uttering death threats or or or, or accessory to causing uh, damage to a woman who was a, a senior advisor at the uh, Bank of Montreal in Brentwood. Yep. Okay. And that was, I think, on November the first or second or something like that. Now, any as far as it it went, you know, like the the dialogue of what was spoken, I mean, I'm going to contest that in court. Well, all things aside, I mean, I can hack that part of it. Okay. The big issue here, and I don't know if you're familiar with this or any other pertain, you know, officers pertaining to, you know, I don't, I don't know. I hear like what, like officer or constables are allowed to, to purchase their own, um, handcuffs or brand of handcuffs i'm you know i'm not that familiar and I'm, I'm sure you're privy to to disclosing that that i was i was apprehended and then i was i was cuffed um this was by i'm gonna say mullen i is what it what what did it sounded like to him but his his name here and i do have his name here it's it's similar to that it's gurin i think is his last name there's a Gentile and a Constable Nolan that dealt with you. Nolan, Nolan. Okay, because okay. I, as far as I know, here on my, my, I'm just gonna look this up here. These are, this is from something else here. Think that. Uh, okay, so um, just as anything were to be, you know, described in short here to keep it short, that these guys kept me in these electroshock cuffs is what I'm accusing them of doing. And I find that to be just, I mean, it's, it's it, as a, you know, a, like a torture device almost that, you know, I mean, if it, if it were to have, you know, try to appease the situation, which um, let me just like um, revert, go in reverse here, just to, to the time of, of my arrest was uh, a phone call made to you Northwest uh, or precinct there, or district precinct there, mm -hmm. that I had spoken with a with an officer there and explained my situation because I felt that there was some, you know, I mean, there was some some ado about about my situation. Now, you know, I'll just tell you here brief, we're like, I'll be really frank that I had only said to this woman currently at this point before leading up to my arrest. Yeah. Uh, Kirsten Sirani, I, if, if I if I mispronounce her her okay. last name yeah. anyway, but she, you know, I my my conversation with her, and this is, you know, I'm not going to go into the details, but my just about the conversation of me sitting in her office, yeah, and I mean there was, you know, the the, the thing is, I had only descriptively in content made a civil complaint to her it was not a threat she took it she 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 approached me as a threat she you know i explained my version of events to both 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 constables in which case i was handcuffed with these electroshock um you know improvised um modified cuffs that simulated you know like the electrolysis of or a, of like a merry-go-round of razor blades that sliced through my skin for uh, like three hours and 45 minutes upon them taking, you know, removing them in, in Foothills Hospital. So that to me, I, you know, as, as what they're claiming that I, I did, you know, and, and there were things that were said and, you know, I mean, leading up to me, you know, finding the proper legal representation and, and trying to get all the conversation records, you know, based upon, you know, being in, in custody in the back of the cruiser, you know, contained and it was funny, you know, like I was, I, I was spinning, I, I mean, I was tossing around in the back of that car for a good mm -hmm. 
at least a good hour and 45 minutes or longer till we got to till they decided they were going to take me to the foothills hospital so you know as far as anything was was concerned you know i felt that i you know these 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 officers if the, i mean if there's any you know legislation that i've ever found and like electroshock cuffs they they are in existence and the ones that they put on me after him showing me like i didn't have my glasses but they you know i i was a, you know i was apprehended just uh gosh just a week ago here in in Kelowna mm-hmm. you know, just over a domestic thing here with my with my ex-girlfriend and you know i know the difference right these guys lied to my face and didn't tell me that you know what do you, you know like pretended like you know that you know they weren't what what i was claiming them to be and i you know just believe it or not i just heard about this brand of of handcuff just within the last six months and when i first heard about it from a friend of mine i said that has got to be one of the scariest things i've i've heard of and it was and it actually i, I said geez i just hope i never ever get arrested again you know well if you know if the if i mean if there's any you know murphy's law to, to my success here at at this point in my 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 life here you know is that i i you know i know my my blood pressure was raised to a really high level yeah and for you know for what would be deemed excessive or beyond a, a, a natural pro or you know a progression of them you know processing me and and uh whether it was admitting me or taking me to the courthouse that was a extended like beyond excessive period of time which they deprived me of water and things that just based upon their protocol to go out and 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 whatever do his rounds there or um nolan and and uh which i think is an arrow's garen or 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 Mullen is what I originally thought yeah. that I did have this phone call, you know, you know, up to the meetup with him that we were going to, you know, discuss what happened and that if he was going to tell me that I was going to be apprehended, that I would have to repeat this stupid story again because I had had to, you know, explain it like two other times, which in detail is, is not exactly, you know, the thing I want to be doing, dealing with the the passing away of my father and dealing with with his, you know, as his last will and testament to his estate and my role as an executor with people who are playing games with me. And, you know, I I could, I could um, appreciate that being frustrating. Well, it's, it's not frustrating. You know, it's, 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 you know, I, I mean, I'm facing, you know, I'm, I'm facing the accusation. I don't have to say I'm before a judge. And, and, uh, you know, just in, you know, in, in retrospect to these, these, these people actually believing, you know, and then it only goes to show or exacerbate the issue that I'm, 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 I'm cuffed with these things. And I mean, like, I mean, like I said, it's like to me in my book, it's a torture device that should be like outlawed or okay. highly restricted but that's my opinion i'm not just saying you, you're going to go out and do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not yeah. telling you how to do your job or step on your toes here there yeah. sir but but you know i if there's any formal way that i could document this submit it to your division so you could review these officers because i do believe they completely acted on out of impulse if not just base or uh you know yeah prejudice upon information that they had but there was no descriptive element that i had ever said to that woman in her office no matter what she told them that i had ever threatened to kill her or harm her or you know anything of 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 the sort Mm -hmm. in any way shape or form that they contended to have me arrested and so and that's what, and shocked with these things yeah so that's your what your complaint like the first part of your complaint is that they acted on impulse to charge you no i don't care about that part they did what they did that's i mean that's all water under the bridge the the problem is is these devices that they used on me 
yeah, you know, I I don't know if I'm going to, you know, like they, these things, you know, I've read that they can, you know, I mean, just as anything as, as uh, an improvised weapon that could be used, you know, just, you yeah. know, and okay. in terms of security purposes can kill people. Right. So if, you know, you're going to leave those kind of div- things on me for like, you know, three hours and 45 minutes upwards of four hours, you know, there's to me, I feel like there's some type of malicious intent behind that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Mason, just, you know, um, I actually watched the video of your arrest. Yeah. Seen car video and yeah. Um, well, I, I watched the hour and forty five minutes or whatever that you were in the back of the car and stuff like that. Um, the handcuffs that were used on you, as far as I could tell, were um, just normal conventional handcuffs. Yeah. Okay. To my knowledge, okay. like we, okay. we, yeah, we don't um, listen. We don't, you know, you can tell, you can say that, and that's what you yeah. think. But I don't know. You know, I don't care. You know what your your prerogative is here, yeah. but. I know what I was looking at. I've seen these devices as to what they look like. They're not your just basic rudimentary or, or just transport cuffs that I, I would say, you know, that are, you know, I mean, they're not, or like double pin lock. But these are, these are, these are more, they're round, on, you know, towards the edges, but they had that bulky square version that were, you know, pretty much, uh, I mean, yeah, look, uh, uh, you know, and and I and I want to make it known because if I go to my I, I go to a politician there and ha- explain to them what's going on here. I mean, you got your force has enough of a bad reputation with you know, and I I mean, people got to you know they got to watch their backs and you know you yeah. got to protect one another and look out for the safety and concern of, yeah. of of the public and themselves included. That if I if if I'm faced Mason. with you telling me right now that you saw what you did, I just want you to know that this telephone call is, is being recorded right mm-hmm. now and that, you know, I mean, based upon your judgment, that's your judgment. But like I said, I have to face this in the court of law. And I think for you to tell me that right now is kind of undermining my intelligence that, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, they, they, that I was S3, you know, transported to a mental institution just based upon the merit that I, I, you know, makes me even look more, you know, crazy or whatever that, uh, you know, okay. as frivolous yeah. as what you just told me, I'm kind of disappointed here. Well, I didn't, I didn't say they're frivolous. I like, I certainly, you didn't even give me a chance to finish talking, and you cut me okay, off. Okay, well, right? go, so, go for it. I'll let you talk. Yeah. So, based on what I saw in the video, um, yeah, you were handcuffed with conventional handcuffs. Absolutely, um, you expressed that they were extremely uncomfortable for you, and you had talked about having a shoulder injury that. Um, exasperated the way that they felt on you. Um, the handcuffs are extremely uncomfortable when somebody has them on and there's video of you moving about in the back of the car, you tried to get them under you kind of thing and um, as soon as you kind of move your hands out of place then they're going to start hurting more, right? So um, not that that's any fault of yours and uh, based on everything I've seen you just had traditional handcuffs used on you. Um, you might have to go back and review it, re-review it. I'm watching I, it actually as we speak right oh, now. Oh, you're, you're looking at it right now. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I know what he put on me. I know what I was looking at after he'd taken him off. And, you know, previous to that, you know, I, I felt like I was set up in the whole grand yeah. scheme of so, things. So, yeah. you know, and there were things that I did say in there, and I'm sure you have them on, on record there. But like I said, I okay, know well, that I was I was being I was being charged you know like elect, electronically with those things. Yeah, yeah, and you know what you actually said, <laughs> you 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 said something to that effect in the police car. Oh, I said and, I said a yeah. bunch of volatile stuff, but that's yeah, after the fact, man. That's like entrapment. That's that's totally entrapment right okay. there, and, and my lawyer yeah. will deal with that, right? But yeah, you know no, that's, that's fine. So. I just want to make sure that these guys aren't going to do the same thing to the next, you know, person that, you know, yeah. I, I mean, the odds, the odds are that we can only speculate that it's, okay. it's a rare occurrence, right? Yeah. So, Mason, like I said, as far as I know, they used regular handcuffs on you. They were uncomfortable and, you know, they didn't take any steps to adjust them for you, but the officer told you that they were double locked and, hadn't really moved from where they were. Um, 
there's no sounds or anything like that on the cuff or on the video to suggest that you're being shocked or well listen man i'm not an idiot okay and you're 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 kind of like i'm you're making me feel like you know i'm already i'm already convicted beyond the fact that you know just because i was certified under the the mental health act there just but what you saw i don't know if you magnify maybe if you magnify it or look at it but if they're double locked they're the exact same brand replica i'm sure i'd probably get a pet number for it if you you know if, if you needed it but you know, I'm just saying this is based, there's a couple of different companies that do that. And uh, um, illicitly, I think, I think they're, they're more harmful. I'm not a serial yeah. killer. I'm just trying to deal with some personal business that somebody led okay. me down a so, dead end street. Okay. And, so making, and basically, you know, I just, all I get to do is, you know, voice my opinion and it turns into a major fiasco. And this is behind the scenes of me dealing with, with the bank that I'm, I'm dealing with. And, 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 you know, just uh, corresponding okay. to to my concern here. Um, you know, I, it doesn't sound like there's anything that's going to further a, a, a complaint. I'm sure at this point that that you know, in regards to this point, we can we can take it that distance up until the point that my my attorney or myself does get to view that evidence or video evidence and 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 look at it closely. I know there was people in in the and as nurses or, or RNs or whatever, LPNs and, and doctors, you know, um, coinciding with being there in my presence in the emergency room, whether or not, and I, they seem to be completely in the dark. There are, there are, you know, there are officials out there that work alongside you that are very familiar with those devices. And they're, you know, okay. people in Calgary have that, have that reputation to use that within your force. So. so did you get any kind of medical treatment for the handcuffing issue? I know you, no, but, you but, the, but, 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 the, but, the, but the skin, but my skin here where, where I used to have hair on the sides of my wrists, or it's like, you know, I just went to a, to a day spa and just had electrolysis to have these hairs removed because you know well, I mean, you 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 have an hour and a half or an hour and forty five minutes plus of you moving around with a metal object on your you know like I tried I I tried to stay as still as I possibly could but well, uh, like no, there was, you were moving around a lot yeah well know, geez I wonder why I was arrested like just like I said a week ago today okay and there was nothing Nathan, of the sort you, there what would you like to see done in regards to well, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna I'm not I'll I'll let you decide you know I'm not gonna t- you know I I would like some type of reprimand I know that the other um, officer the 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 junior officer to to uh, who was taking instructions from you know his superior officer there I guess he's just a greenhorn that uh, you know he he's just following his orders. You know, and I, yeah. I had a long discussion with him, and I said a bunch of crazy ass shit to him. No but I'll t- I'll tell you, you know, I I don't know. He seemed like a pretty genuinely nice guy. Now, other other, you know, number one cop, and we'll call you know junior cop there, number two cop, that, you know, seemingly a, a you know a, a kind of gentleman type of guy, but you know, like uh, alternately, you know, speaking here that. That you know, deception and and these kind of tactics, you know, use use against people that actually know what's going on and do have proof that would otherwise try and tell me otherwise, or you know, tell it publicly in a court and you know, you know, okay, compromise nope. you guys' reputation even more. Yeah, no. Well, thanks for contacting us, Mason. If there was something that I that you're I, you're not going to do anything about it. I know, I know you're not going to do nothing about it. No, and I don't know how I don't know how your internal affairs works, but if you know if there's anything that you know, like I've been dissuaded in certain aspects that I can say, you know, you know, you're not all the same, but you know, in certain various um, aspects of of how you deal with this or process this, this is nothing that you know is been, is has been has been written in ink or given you know documented for that and if this is solely based upon this telephone call that we're sharing here i don't know i think you guys need to do more that's just my personal opinion and okay. and, and being able to document these things because other than this phone call that we have here you know there's really no proof that's going to support my 
claim or the, even the existence of this phone call with you is what I is, is how I feel. Yeah. No, you're like I write a report and I'll send it to the officer's commander so that he's aware of what your belief is and what your allegation is. And you said that you have a lawyer involved. Eventually, I've got no. I've, yeah. I've, okay. I've eventually here. So if you'd like, you can have your lawyer help you through the process of formalizing your complaint. If you after you get your disclosure for your charges and you get like the video that I watch is part of that disclosure. Okay. Um. After you watch it, if you still have the belief that um, some kind of electroshock handcuff was used on you, then um, I don't know. I mean, it's dark in the back. Though. I don't know how you can really, you know, judge either which way. If you, well, you, you know, believe sitting, a standard, a standard yeah, brand. Yeah, you guys are sitting in a in the parking lot, right? So the parking lot is pretty well lit, and I can I can make everything out. And like I said, I I watched it for in its entirety from the time you were put back there and. You know, you got your ponytail on, you got your Shea Guerrero shirt on, and um, yeah, you got a bit of a beard, and you're wearing a jacket and stuff, so I can see all that stuff, and uh, there is a bit of a night vision effect on the camera in the back, from what I understand, so. Yeah, there, yeah so that might, you know, like, imp you know, it's, I mean, it's, could, could, you know, possibly be, you know, something that they can't see, but. Okay, yeah. But I'll, 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 I'm going to stick with my story straight to the end, and that's just the way it goes. And I'm sorry, what was your – I can't, I just got to write down your name here, sorry. Yeah, it, it's Sergeant Demonazis. Okay. And I – so it's kind of a tricky – it's a tricky last name, but it sounds neat. Anyways, could you spell that for me? D – Hello? Yeah. Oh, did you spell that for me? Yeah, it's D E. Yes. M E. M E. N yeah, N E Z E S. Z E S. Yeah, and my badge number is thirty-eight twenty-four. Uh, and my, f uh, I'll give you my email address. It's okay. P O L. P O L. Three eight two four. Three eight two four. At CalgaryPolice.ca. All right, I appreciate your time and calling me and Yeah, like I don't know what you want done with this, but like I, you I, know, I'm not gonna say anything at that point. I think I think that's up to you guys to decide that. You know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not you know, like I, I this shouldn't have went this far, okay? And I, I try to get these guys on, on my side here. You know, there was something here and, and descriptively enough, there was nothing blatantly like spoken as at up until you know, the point after my arrest where there's any there's any violence or volatility or anything that yeah, you know nope, aggressive I, in nature previous to the arrest and uh as anything that was described you know well we they have it on phone call they have you on tape in their offices this woman in the bank came running full throttle at me about three different times in there in the yeah, bank. Like that's I, got I, nothing I, to do with that but i'm just saying yes yeah. they uh they i wish they would have taken my side because I, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so. and like I said, I only deal with the with the officer conduct piece of things and based on the information in front of me and mm -hmm. like what I've seen and whatnot. Like, yeah. I have no doubt that the handcuffs were extremely painful, and you you said as much in the video. Yeah. Um, I have no doubt that it felt like somebody was shocking you or that somebody was cutting into your hands because I've well, worn handcuffs well, before. I, I saw, I saw, yeah, yeah. Terrible, yeah. especially when, but you these, know, you, But these are, these are different, man. These, these are, these are, and I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm sticking to my story, but these, these actually, you know, as they, they rotate, they have a kind of a, a, a it's like a, like a merry-go-round kind of a fact where they constrict. It's like they form perfectly around the skin and your wrist. And it, it does, you yeah, know, no, put some compression on it. But I've been in in handcuffs quite a few times. I'm not proud of that, like you mind you, but yeah, there were little slices on my you know, little slices that you know, within a pattern that would otherwise not suggest that it's just kind of a more of an indentation. It's more of a like it's kind of like a skimming effect that's kind of not as indented on the skin or imprinted. Yeah, um, I got you. It it all depends on when an officer's handcuffing somebody, 
there's like three things that have to that should happen, and if they don't, then they can cause yeah. extra aggravation. So in yeah. cases like the one that you were saying back in Kelowna where you got handcuffed again, uh, the officers might have taken these extra steps that would have ensured No, nah, man, you know, I know it's a double pin one, but I'm telling you, no, I can't agree with that. I, you might you might be compensating for that, and I wouldn't. Don't waste your breath, breath on it there, there, sir. Okay. But uh, have a nice afternoon, and I guess as far as this goes, um, you know, if there's anything that, like I, you know, I'm I'm gonna project this information, and and you know whether you know these guys take it personally or whatever. It's not personal, like I said, against officer number two, following his command or whatever. So far as what was portrayed. So yeah, I'll give you a call number for your Life's busy on the grind, I can sit still I'm on the move all the time like a windmill I got a blood feel, yeah, blowing big kill And I can't front you, I ain't nothing like a windshield My life's busy on the grind, I can't sit still I'm on the move all the time like a windmill I got a blood feel, yeah, blowing big kill And I can't front you, I ain't nothing like a windshield Life is a beast and every beast can get wet And I love to see the ways and everybody just met You can see the sunshine Send a 